Hi everyone. All right, welcome everyone to my first YouTube video. I'm super freaking stoked to be doing this. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, we're just gonna dive right in. It's gonna be 10 little facts about me, kind of get to know me style. And yeah, this is just gonna be the opening of this channel. So I'm super excited. Let's get it. All right, so to start off, my name is Maria Munoz. For those of you who don't know me, I am 23 years old and I was born April 7th, 1998, a spring baby. I freaking love it. Um, and I was born in Colombia, so I'm Colombian, but I consider myself more North American, if you will. Like, I'm very whitewashed. I was born in Colombia, and then my parents found jobs in the States, so then we all moved to California, and then we lived there for like three and a half years. And then after California, we moved to Florida for another three and a half years. So like my whole childhood has been in the States, and it's been uh, tropical. I just remember going to the beach and the pool and just it's all like palm trees and like warm weather all around so that was nice and then after Florida we moved to Canada which is where we've been ever since so I think this is either year number 16 or 17 since we've been living here it's been a while actually it doesn't feel that long that's weird uh, anyways back number two is I absolutely love the gym I love the gym with everything in me I love running and weightlifting those are my two main hobbies if you will but i feel like they're more than a hobby like it's it's my lifestyle there we go that's the word it's my lifestyle go to the gym like five times a week um i have two rest days and then running i've done a couple marathons and i've done four marathons actually so that's pretty cool but running it's very like up and down like if i'm training for a race it's very consistent but if i'm kind of like on break from a race training then yeah I just run kind of like whenever I feel like it but for cardio like I incorporate other forms of cardio so that's how I get my cardio in if I touch my hair a lot I apologize but I took a shower like a couple hours ago but my hair is still wet so like might be a little frizzy but it's also like not styled so like kind of <laughs> bothers me but anyways it's just a little disclaimer bag number three uh, I love the Sun love 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 the sun like you understand how much i'm obsessed with the sun like it is like the most beautiful thing this world has and like i have a little sun tattoo here just because you know show my love and appreciation for it um i just really like the sun because first of all it's yellow that's one of my favorite colors and also because like i feel like it physically and like literally gives me life like the energy and like excitement and like motivation and like days where it's not sunny when it's gloomy and like a little gray my goodness my mood is like low and i know like i shouldn't depend on like the weather like to know how i'm feeling but like really like blue skies and the sun goodness they just uplift my soul like my being and it's just it's just so beautiful and it just makes me want to be outside and like do stuff but anyways that's my love for the sun um i love her love everything she has to offer and then i also love being tan like i know it's not good for your skin but i just uh, i love the tan look but anyways i love the sun back number four um i have five tattoos i have like i mentioned the little sun tattoo and then you know what? i'm actually going to show you this is a little sun tattoo it's focus nice it's very simple, very like fine line, very cute. Uh, and then this is another one. This was actually my first one. Is that focused? It says focus. <laughs> and then the one back here. Oh no, I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go, it says better yourself. And then I have one here. This is my biggest one. And then, let me just do this here. Uh, I have one there here. What if I, it's upside down, but there's that one. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting this plant. Anyways, so I have those five tattoos. So fact number five is I love the human body. Like love the human body. 
and right now I'm kind of like in a bit of a rut again another story for another day but I am currently going to university for a kinesiology degree so how that came about I guess like this is fact number six but fact number five and six tie in together so fact number five I'm going to university for a kines degree and I'm in my last year it's taken me a while but we're getting there we're getting there um <laughs> And how I got into this degree was because I was hit by a vehicle uh, back in 2015 when I was out for a run. I was, you know, running and then I was going to cross the road and then this car here stopped. I looked to my left, there was no car, so then I proceeded to cross the road. And then this car like whips out of like a cul-de-sac and then boom, hits my little body, which, you know, at the time, obviously it sucked and it hurt. But thank God, like, I came out with, like, I'm going to say zero injuries because it could have been worse. I could not be here right now. And it was just, it was scary. Like, yeah, it was a time, again, another story for another video. Um, but, like, I could, like, definitely go deeper in that because that is a very big story that has led me to where I am today right now. So I'm very grateful for that accident, even though it sucked in the moment, but... Now I see like why it had to happen, so that's pretty neat. Fact number seven. Let me just take a little sip. Um, I want to live somewhere tropical. Absolutely hands down. That is like my end goal to end up somewhere with the beach, with palm trees, or near the ocean, or... I love anything beachy, tropical. I really feel like that is like my vibe. Um, and I don't know if it's because like that's kind of like what I grew up around when I was younger, uh, like California and Florida. But whenever I'm like by the ocean, under the sun, like scorching hot, oh my goodness, like I feel like my truest, most happiest self in that moment. And like palm trees and like the color like the green and like all these like tropical beautiful colorful flowers and it just uh, it's just all so beautiful and I really feel like that is my lifestyle like like these these look like tropical plants do they not and I feel like they are somewhere um but yeah I really love like that beachy vibe like that uh, I don't even know what to call it the beachy vibe I'm all for it I'm like bohemian style ish kind of thing yeah love it so that is my ultimate goal, to live somewhere where there's palm trees and an ocean. Number eight, number eight, I have two pets. I have a bird named Thomas and a dog named Rory. Um, we got Thomas first, but I don't know, like I don't, I don't really know why we got him. Like me and my brother were young and so then my parents were like, yeah, let's, let's get them a pet. But like they didn't want a dog because it was too much responsibility for like young kids, but, and then, yeah, now we got a dog. Fact number nine. Number nine. I love Lululemon. Like, love Lululemon. And this, like, obsession with them started last year, but, like, it was a strong one. And I never thought I'd, like, have so many of their things. But like I'm so grateful that I do and I love what they stand for and I love their brand and their clothing and the colors, the design, the fabric, everything. But their manifesto is my favorite thing ever. Like when you walk into a Lulu store and you see this wall, oh my goodness. I, the first time I walked in, I stood there reading everything. Every little phrase, every little saying, every little thing. And I just, mm, mm. And I think it was because, like I love quotes. I've loved quotes ever since I was little ever since i can remember i remember in our old house i wrote on a wall all these tumblr quotes when tumblr was a thing um in crayola marker uh i got in trouble but that's beside the point but i was writing quotes about like heartbreak and about like stuff that like grade for me didn't hadn't gone through like was like what but yeah i love quotes and little sayings and phrases and i think they're just like the right ones are uplifting and they can really like inspire you so i really like that so and that's what the lululemon manifesto is and 
I'm all for it. Um, and then number 10, fact number 10, I, uh, there's this phrase that I absolutely live by that I love and is that there's always good in every situation that you go through, every single thing. I believe that with every cell fiber of my being because, and I, I think I learned this like back when I had the accident in 2015, um, because like I said, in the moment, getting hit by car, yeah, you know, it's painful physically and it's frustrating mentally and emotionally because I was like, I'd, I'd really just gotten into the gym at that time and I'd really got into running at that time and it was all just kind of taken away from me, like in the blink of an eye, you know? I hurt my knee, it was very swollen, um, my whole body was very sore and hurt and like just not good. So it took me like two to three months of going to physio and rehab until my knee was like back to its functioning self. Um, and then like obviously like that was a lot of time that like set me back because I wasn't, I physically wasn't able of like doing, like going to the gym or running. So it was frustrating in that sense, but uh, I'm grateful that it wasn't worse, number one. And number two, that's what led me into like going to physio, first of all, and then from physio is where I learned about the body and I became obsessed with it and like how beautiful this machine that we are is and like such a perfect creation that is just like mind blowing in every aspect. So yeah, it's just, it's just amazing. So from there I went to this degree and then I actually started working at a physio clinic and yeah, like things just kind of started like unfolding in a way that was like, hey, wait, if I hadn't had this accident, like would I be here? So that's how I kind of see things like whenever you're going through something tough or heartbreak or a difficulty of any kind, like, yes, it sucks in the moment, but like really try and like lean into like, what is it trying to teach me? Like, don't ask yourself like, why did this happen to me? Because you're not like, you're not going to get an answer. Um, but if you lean in like, okay, like you accept like, okay, this is what's happening to me. This is my reality right now. First of all, remember, it's not gonna last forever. Second of all, what can I learn from this? And once you like, like tap into that, oh my goodness, like it becomes so much easier to like deal with and it gives you hope to like just keep going because things are gonna get better, you know? So yeah, so every time I'm going through a little rough patch, I just think like, okay, this isn't gonna last forever. What is this trying to teach me? And what good can I get from this? You know, because it's always something good if you believe it and if you put in the work to find it. I truly believe that. So, yeah, there's good in all things. And also the Bible says it too. You know, it says God will work out everything for your good. Romans 8, 28. And I truly believe that. I truly believe he has a plan and that he allows pain and heartbreak and suffering to happen for a reason. So, I can't tell you what that reason is, but like, if you lean on him, you trust in him, he'll show you. I truly believe that. So yeah, so that was my little get to know me video for my first YouTube video on this channel. Um, if you watch till the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I would appreciate a like, a comment, a subscribe. Um, yeah, it would, it would just, you know, just mean a lot. A little info on what this channel is going to be about is mostly like self-growth, um, betterment, um, fitness, lifestyle, well-being, like all that good stuff. Um, if you follow my Instagram, that also has a lot of good stuff um, relating to fitness and well-being and lifestyle and just self-growth and betterment. Everything. Love it. I'm all for it. And yeah, so you can give me a follow there and a subscribe here and yeah, just stay tuned for more videos to come because now, now that I like posted this one and recorded this one and like got this first one got the ball rolling so like i'm excited i'm excited all right so with that i will leave everyone um i hope you have a fantastic day and a spectacular week and i will see you all next time